we follow the normal process and channels that the committee usually adopt for ascertaining, screening and ascertaining the, the real person who owns a particular animal. There are, there, there, there are strategies the committee normally applies which are best known to us because it is not for public consumption. Anybody who comes, there are some interviews that we normally ask the, the, the prospective uh, person looking for his stolen animals. May, may, that, may, okay. may we know the number of animals received? Yeah, yeah, the number of animals handed over just now, as you can see, is about uh, 154 cows, mm -hmm. one camel, and one ram. These are exactly the number that has been handed over to the committee for as for now. What happened was uh, we got information about animals being rustled. And uh, for about five days now we've been tracking these animals. And uh, we wanted to see eventually where these animals are going to end. And then they finally ended in, the, in a market called Antasha. And that was where the animals were finally sold uh, to those that bought them. Um, we've instructed our troops uh, to lay ambush for those animals. And eventually last night, the 11 trucks came into uh, the location where our troops were, and uh, they finally picked them and brought them down here. Okay, sorry, there are 12 vehicles. Initially, there were nine, and then later on, two of them joined up, and I think finally one came and joined up. How long have you been tracing this? Uh, Close to a week now. Yeah. Has any been made? Investigation is still ongoing. What we want to do now is to hand over these animals first to the state's committee. Uh, the committee chairman is here and his secretary, and we are going to hand over these animals to them right away. Uh, after handing over the animals, then we are going to get the agents of all those that bought these animals and interrogate them. The Joint Task Force, Northwest Operation Hadar Indaji, is doing quite a lot. Um, our troops are virtually everywhere. As you all know, we are covering four states, Sokote KB, Zamfara, and Kasena, and we cannot have troops in all the villages in these places. But all the hotspots, we've made sure we have deployments in those places. Uh, in the last few days, we have stopped quite a lot of attacks in some of these villages. With the support of the Air Force from uh, Air Component from Casina, we have been able to stop a lot of attacks. Are you doing anything regarding yesterday's abduction of students in KB State, which is also under your area of responsibility? Sure, our troops are there. Uh, I wouldn't want to say much, but uh, in the last few hours, we've come across the kidnappers. Uh, they came to our blocking point, and um, we've engaged them uh, early hours of this morning. Uh, at that point, we have, they have abandoned five of the students and one of the teachers. Unfortunately, I think we've lost one of the, uh, one of the students.